Simplifying radicals in the denominator using conjugates. Okay. So first of all, I want to say what a conjugate is. A conjugate is when you have a binomial expression here with a radical. Okay. And it's the exact same thing as your expression. The only difference is you uh, switch the sign here, or you make it the opposite. So if this is a minus, you change it to a plus. If this is a plus, you make it a minus. All right, so I have that scroll here to show you. So if you have 3 plus the square root of 5, its conjugate would then be 3 minus the square root of 5. It gets very simple. Fancy name for something that's very simple. OK, so uh, to simplify this then, the first step, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by its conjugate. So we multiply numerator and denominator by negative 8 plus the square root of 8. Negative 8 plus square root of 8. Okay. All right, and when we do that, it cancels a lot of stuff out in the denominator, and it makes it look much nicer, okay? Although, when I multiply it out, it doesn't look like that, all right? So this looks kind of scary, but all I did is I foiled in the numerator and denominator. So negative 3 times negative 8, 24. Negative 3 times square root of 8, minus 3 root 8, all right? Neg uh, negative square root 8 times negative 8, plus 8, root 8, and then negative square root of 8 times positive square root of 8 is just negative 8. So I did the same thing down here, okay? But because we did that down here and we used the conjugate, the beauty of that is, as you'll notice, is we get a minus 8 root 8 and a plus 8 root 8. So then that cancels the square roots out, okay? And that's why we multiply the conjugate because it gets rid of the square root in the denominator. So now, if I simplify that, okay, this the numerator becomes just 16 because you combine these like terms, you combine these like terms, you get this. Okay, from here you combine these like terms, you get 56. Combine these like terms, you get zero. Okay, so it becomes this. And then we need to uh, simplify this even more. Okay, because square root of eight is actually two root two. So that's how I got 10 root 2 here. And I can divide everything by 2. So that gives me this as the final answer. OK? And that completes our problem.